video I am going to compare the staining procedures of reticulocytes, Heinz bodies and hemoglobin H inclusion bodies. All these three staining procedures are done in vital conditions that means in living condition. This is a photograph of reticulocyte. You can see the reticulocytes precipitated inside the red cell. These are Heinz bodies and this is a picture of hemoglobin H inclusion bodies. Now I will compare the staining procedures of reticulocytes, Heinz bodies and hemoglobin H inclusion bodies. Normally we can see remnants of RNAs reticulocytes and Heinz bodies are the derivatives of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin H inclusion bodies are unstable hemoglobin. Reticulocytes occur when in blood loss, hemolysis, bone marrow infiltration. Heinz bodies occur when in chemical poisoning or drug toxicity, G6PD deficiency, in the presence of unstable hemoglobin. Hemoglobin H inclusion bodies can be seen in thalassemia patients and hemoglobin H disease. When staining reticulocytes, the blood to stain ratio is 1 to 1. That means when we add 1 volume of blood, we want to add 1 volume of stain. For the staining of Heinz bodies, we want to add 1 volume of blood to 4 volumes of stain. In hemoglobin H inclusion body staining procedure, we want to add 2 volumes of blood to 1 volume of stain. Reticulocyte staining procedure, we want to st stain them at 37 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes. That means we incubate the tube at 37 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes. When in Heinz body preparation, the stain and blood mixed tube should be incubated at room temperature for 10 minutes. In hemoglobin H inclusion bodies preparation, there are two ways. We can incubate the tube at 37 degrees Celsius for 2 hours or the tube can be incubated at room temperature for 4 hours. Normally the slide preparation is doing in normal way using the feather technique that means using a clean glass slide and a spreader. Then all these three staining procedures are done in vital conditions. So, we don't want to fix or counter stain. All, all three inclusion bodies are observed under microscope, under the oil immersion lens. And when we consider the observation, reticulocytes can be seen as small, irregular, blue color precipitate. Heinz bodies can be seen as intense purple color precipitate they can be near to the membrane of the cell and they may cause protrusions of membrane hemoglobin H inclusion bodies can be seen as multiple greenish blue dots we call that as golf ball appearance thank you